Mount Vesuvius in Italy, why the active volcano is under 24-hour surveillance as magma rises. Look at this. Look at this. Doesn't this look like a caldera formation to you? Huge. There are so many volcanoes there, you can't even number them. Now, Naples is right there between Campi Flegri, what we see here. That's the magma, satellite image of magma pushing underneath. And Naples, as you see on the upper uh, right-hand side, and on the right of that is the volcano of Mount Vesuvius. So Naples sits in between two huge and very dangerous volcanoes. Callum Hor of Express UK reports today, Mount Vesuvius, the volcano best known for burying the Roman city of Pompeii in 79 AD, is now under constant surveillance because magma is pushing towards the surface. This is what a uh, recent documentary has shown. Pompeii, as we know, was the ancient city located near modern Naples in the Campania region of Italy. During the first century, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius covered the town in uh, a huge amount of ash, 20 feet. 20 feet of ash? That's like, what, a two or three story build, two story building for sure. So it buried those that failed to escape. Uh, obviously, before an eruption, there are earthquakes, there are various signs. Some people decide to leave, some people can't leave. Maybe they have their livelihood, their homes there, they have nowhere else to go. So, they, those that failed to escape, many preserved remains still visible today. But the stratovolcano of Vesuvius has the capability to repeat itself again. It was revealed during this new documentary. Channel 5 Pompeii Prophecy Countdown to Devastation. It detailed how its location makes it a prime target for yet another such eruption. The narrator explained centuries have passed but one thing has not changed. Vesuvius is still active. The African plate, as we know, is a subduction area, just like Greece is. The African plate is being forced downward in a process called subduction. It's actually making the Mediterranean Sea smaller as it closes in into the European, the Eurasian plate. Uh, the uh, series went on to explain how the vulnerability of the stratovolcano means it requires constant attention. And it adds that as it descends to the hot center of the Earth, it gets warmer. This causes rocks to melt and turn into liquid magma, which rises towards the surface. There are weaknesses in the rock, and here the magma can break through, and if it has enough power, it of course can trigger a volcano. And it goes on to say that it is this constant subduction that keeps Vesuvius active and fuels its eruptions. And due to the ever-present danger, the volcano is kept under 24-hour surveillance. When Vesuvius erupted in the first century, it ejected a cloud of stones, ash, and volcanic gases to a height of a whopping 21 miles up into the atmosphere. 21 miles? It released 100,000 times more thermal energy than the nuclear bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a hundred thousand times more. More than 1,000 people died in that eruption, but exact numbers are unknown. Vesuvius has erupted many times since, with at least uh, the last coming in uh, 1944, making it the only volcano in the European mainland to have erupted within the last hundred years. And today is regarded as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world because of the population of 3 million people living nearby. And we recently had a very uh, huge warning after the volcano hit, was hit by 34 earthquakes in just one day. Kate Harris of Express UK reports this. 
uh, the series of earthquakes, 34 in one day, recorded near Vesuvius. Well, we saw that. We made a couple of videos on that. And it sparked fears that the volcano, of course, could be about to blow. This is one of the signs. The earthquake swarms. Deformation. Magma buildup. Temperature. Gas emissions. Now, the strongest of the 34 earthquakes in 24 hours woke up residents in Puzzuoli. That's where we saw the magma buildup. And uh, actually, it's in Campi Flegri. Shortly before the, the uh, 5 of the third in the morning, 2.5 magnitude shock felt in Fori Grotta, Pianara, Quarto, and Bainoli. Uh, directors of uh, the Vesuvio Observatory, Francesca Bianco, explained that there is a yellow alert in place for the mega volcano of Naples. Bianco said these events that fall within the current yellow alert. Everybody is part of the volcano's life and there is absolutely nothing to be alarmed about. Now, the maximum magnitude event occurred at 5.26 a couple of days ago, just at the depth of over one kilometer in the area south of Astroni. So it's quite close to the surface. The rest of the events were of magnitudes close to one, one magnitude. And in any case, it was a matter of micro seismicity. No damage to buildings or, inju or injuries, but Vesuvius, Vesuvius is located in the Gulf of Naples, in Campania, Italy, and there are three million people living in the area. One of the world's most dangerous volcanoes, as we said, is famous for its Pompeii 79 AD eruption, leading to the burying and destruction of several Roman cities in the area, including Pompeii, and uh, that uh, killed thousands of people. Now, the explosion sent a cloud of stones and volcanic gas 21 miles into the sky, and the thermal energy released was hundreds of thousands of times that of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Since then, the 4,000-foot volcano, that's the height of it, has blown its top many times, most recently, as we said, in 1944, but none have been as powerful as the 79 AD earthquake, uh, volcanic eruption. The volcano considered one of the most dangerous in the world. Now, as Charlotte Davis of Express UK reports, there are warning signs that the supervolcano of Naples is showing signs of a possible Vesuvian-style eruption and they're uh, geared for this supervolcano type eruption. They have to be ready for it. Italy's Campi Flegri. As we saw in the map, Campi Flegri is on the left of Naples and Vesuvius is just on the right. So, for the first time in nearly 400 years, it's been showing a type of unrest, which could indicate that it's getting ready for yet another eruption. This is what volcano expert Christopher Kilburn has warned of. He explains, The volcano, which is located in the highly populated area of Naples, could at some point in the foreseeable future have a Vesuvian-style eruption. This is what Dr. Christopher Kilburn, professor at University College London and expert in volcanic hazards, states. He speaks to uh, the, the reporters explaining how Campi Flegri is a caldera and was produced by a large-scale eruption. He says the last major collapse occurred 15,500 years ago. Since then, there have been lots of small eruptions within the caldera, which is populated by about 350,000 people. The size of the eruptions is comparatively modest, and when I say comparatively, he says, the larger sizes are about the size of the Vesuvius eruption that destroyed Pompeii and Heraclium. So fairly big for human beings, but small compared with what the volcano has done in the past. The volcanologist who worked closely with the Vesuvius Observatory in Naples to analyze the volcano explained how the last historic eruption was in 1538. The professor warned, since then it's been showing episodes of unrest. That means the ground 
has at the center of the caldera, the ground has been uplifting overall by just under 4 meters in the past 60 years or so. So about 2 meters, that's about uh, a meter, is about 6, 7, 7 feet height. 2 meters in 2 years with long intervals and nothing in between. Dr. Kilburn warned the Campi Flegri volcano is active and will erupt again some point in the future. And he added, the point is that because it is the first time in nearly 400 years that the volcano has been showing this type of unrest, there is now concern that the volcano might be getting ready for another eruption in the foreseeable future. But the type of eruption is of the size of possibly a Vesuvian style or even much smaller. So we're not talking about another giant eruption that might produce another caldera. Kilburn said it's important to be aware that the volcano is active. He urged people living in the area not to worry, though. He added it's important to be reassured that the plans are being made and not to be worried every day that something might happen because that is actually not the case. The region surrounding Campi Flegri was the scene of two huge eruptions. The Campanian Ignibrite CI eruption of 39,000 years ago, yeah, 39,000 years ago, and the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff NYT eruption, which happened 15,000 years ago, plus many smaller events. The most recent was the eruption of Monte Nuovo in 1538. Campi Flegri, located about 11 miles, that's 18 kilometers west of Naples, which is home to about a million people. And Mount Vesuvius is around 13 miles to the east of Naples. Now, as we said, Naples sits in between these two active volcanoes. Unlike many volcanoes, Campi Flegri is mainly flat and is accessible on foot. Some 360,000 people live across Campi Flegri's caldera, which covers more than 38 square miles and is the closest historical active volcano to London. If it were to erupt, it could destroy, it could disrupt actually air traffic across the whole of Europe. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.